Hi, today I'm going to show you how I apply letterpress effects to my illustrations. So this is an invitation that I designed in Illustrator and I work mostly in Illustrator but I like Photoshop for certain effects and so I've designed this vector already and I'm going to bring the parts of it into Photoshop so that I can add the effects. Some of the effects are similar in Illustrator, but I just don't like how they work in some cases. So I'm going to first, I've already imported the paper texture into my document in Illustrator, but first I'm going to do the words, which I'm doing control copy, going into my document in Photoshop and control V, which is paste and smart object I'm going to choose because that keeps it as a vector. So now if I push any other button it says place, I'm going to place it. Next I'm going to select the confetti, control C for copy, paste, now, because this was a little bit outside of the borders, it tries to fit it inside of the borders, which brings it to 96%. I'm going to hold this as a link so that it stays in proportion. I'm going to type in 100, and then when I push another button, I can place. So now this is about the same. I'm going to do move this up here, look at my original document. Okay, so First of all, I'm going to, in my original document, you can see that all of my designs have this paper texture in it. Um, the reason is I have the images set to multiply, so these aren't currently on multiply. So now I'm going over to my layers panel and choosing multiply. And you see how now you can see the paper texture. And I'm going to do the same to the confetti. Okay, so next what I want to do is make this look like it's an actual printed letterpress design. So I'm going to start with this layer and the reason I did them separately, I could have imported the words and the confetti together, but I just wanted to have a little bit of uh, flexibility in case I wanted to change things around. So I go to my FX panel and this is one of the big reasons why I chose to do this in Photoshop. There's no inner shadow in Illustrator effects. There's inner glow but not inner shadow and there is a bit of a difference. You can make it work in Illustrator if you wanted to keep this completely in Illustrator but personally I like inner shadow um, and the difference is an inner glow is going to show all the edges. So you see how there is this little, you know, dark line. It's going to go all the way around. But I'm thinking of this as a letterpress. And if the words are imprinted into the paper, um, we're sort of thinking about a shadow coming from one direction. So I like this setting that I already have. I can sort of play around with the sizes. I don't want something, I want something where the size is maybe at most three, four, five, because as it gets up higher, then it's just sort of indistinct, right? Because the letterpress is just a small little imprint into the paper. Distance, you know, that doesn't look realistic for if you're thinking about an actual invitation. So probably about five or six. The choke is sort of, if you zoom in, you would see the difference, but um, I just keep it around eight. Multiply, I wouldn't want it really dark. I want it pretty light. So I'm gonna make sure that this is multiply, a darker color and opacity is light. And I'm going to push okay. So the next step I'm gonna do is go back to the same layer, go back to the FX, and now I'm gonna do drop shadow. And what I'm gonna do with this drop shadow, it's already kind of set because this was the last thing I did already, but basically instead of doing a dark drop shadow, 
on the outer edge. That doesn't make any sense. We're thinking about this uh, word is imprinted. So what I'm going to do is add white to it and keep it at normal, not multiply, but normal. And I'm adding the opacity to somewhere in the 60s and 70s. And you can see that kind of adds an outer highlight as if this is actually pressed in and you know the lime green area is darker and then the white paper remains and there's a little bit of a highlight along this edge. You can play around with these settings until it looks you know kind of realistic to you. So I'm gonna say okay with that and now my words look like they are imprinted into the paper. Um, and now I don't have to do repeat those same settings for my confetti layer because if you click the effects and hold the key alt down and drag you're holding alt the whole time and let go it just doubles it onto the next layer so that's a little trick to um, drag your effects into multiple layers um, by holding down the alt key so that is my letterpress invitation and then people will add their own information in here when this goes online um, and so it looks like a real printed paper <laughs>